Mona High and a certain Craig Butler are true to the second round and looking to win the Manning Cup. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Your favorite analysts are here, Adrian, Raymond and Ricky, or some of your favorite analysts are here to talk about <laughs> the conclusion of Group C Manning Cup, right? We had a smaller group than the one, than the others, only six teams in this group C and finishing at the top seven Kingston seven. College six teams in this we are counting the team that right but right. beaten and was demoted and, and to the next division no I'm not <laughs> counting them I'm not counting them <laughs> I'm not counting them I can't count St Mary's College in this so Kingston College finish at the top of this table 15 points, five games played, five win, a dominant performance by KC, not dropping any points. The only team from the group stage to have gone through untouched. They've not dropped no points. Mona High School with a certain coach, Craig Butler, head coach of Mona High School, finished second place with 10 points from five games. They won three games, last one, draw one, 12 goal difference. St. Catherine, who for some reason, Brogard being at Alma Mata, is also through to the next round. They finished on 10 points from five games with a goal difference of four. Walmart's boys school, six points from five games. Them win two, them lose three. Two is their goal difference. Clan Carty finished with three points from five games. One win, four losses, minus 14. And again, guys, another minus 22 in a group C. Papin High School played five games. Them no win none. Them no draw none. Them lose five minus 22 they also pick up at 10 nil from craig butler's mona high school raymond was were you surprised mona went in this morning cup saying that hey we can win this they are now through today the next round with kingston college and saint catherine yeah, I was, I was kind of surprised, you know, when when Craig Butler made that that comment and saying how they would actually go all the way. I, I was I was absolutely surprised. Um, and the, the first encounter, they lost narrowly to Kingston College. That made me actually question, you know, if 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 they if they had what it takes, you know, if if Mona had what it takes to push through and actually make it to the next round because that narrow loss and I know Sean Casey was kind of showed me that um, Mona High actually is a, is a strong opponent and disciplined one and it, it showed you know finishing second and, and pushing through the, to the next round showed me that indeed Mona High was a really really serious opponent. Adrian, this is probably the only team, only group that we got it right. Right, all three six schools that we 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 spoke about making it in the top three are there. Maybe not in the order that we had predicted, but Kingston College, Saint Catherine, and Mona making it through to the next round. Yes, Craig. 
pretty much um we got this one right. No surprises there with Kingston College being on top. Um it was good to see Mona High playing really well. Um only losing out to uh Kingston College, I believe also St. Catherine right. did the same in losing out to um Kingston College. But uh the big disappointment would have been Woolmers really, really didn't come to the party for this um edition of the Manning Cup. But just focusing on the top three. They were as it, as it is. They play some good football. And as we can see, KC is always up, up and there about showing their um, quality. But Mona High, with a certain Craig Butler and players affiliated to his Phoenix um, Academy, looked really, looked really, really good throughout the, the, the season. Not to be outdone than Catherine High. You know, um, this is a team that has been looking really good over the last few seasons in the Manning Cup. I believe they are the current Walker Cup champions, are they? I think from 2019, they're about. Uh, right. And as such, these are three good teams. I would expect that they will do very well in the next round. Ricky, were you surprised of this KC team going unbeaten in the first round? Um, given the the group, the members of the group, you would expect mo you would expect them to at least lose one. They have come through unbeaten, beating basically everybody, uh, and and contributing to another team's demise. Quick exit from the competition. Uh, no surprise. Just surprised that you know they they didn't lose any point, none at all. So yeah. Adrian, what are you looking forward to for these teams in the next round? Do you think KC have what it takes to continue this unbeaten trend um, for the quarterfinal? Well, Kurt, the competition definitely gets um, tougher in the second round. Um, KC you're hoping you can actually take that early form over into the second round. It's expected that they will at least make the semi-final. Anything less would be a, a major disappointment. We also want to see what um, Mona and their coach Craig Butler really are up to. I mean, he's promising that they can win the, the Manning Cup. I'm not so sure about that, but hey, we all can dream. So it's hope to see what they will come to in the second round as they play against more quality opponents. And of course, the dark horse and all of this, uh, St. Catherine High, they also, I mean, I'm looking at St. Catherine High as a team that can potentially advance to the semifinals as well. But let's see how, 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 how they fare against um, better quality opponents. Raymond, for the last edition of the um, Champions League, we call it in Jamaica, KC was that winner, and I think they carried this that form into this round. But do you think they have what it takes to make it all the way and the throne JCFC? Of course, Kurt. It is 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 a um is a rematch, and we and we're looking to take you know whatever trophy JC have, we're looking to take it right back. You understand? So of course we're looking we're looking to push through. I mean, going through this round undefeated, show our strength, and hopefully we can be consistent and, and pretty much go all the way through the entire competition undefeated because you can't afford to lose in the next round. So clearly we are looking to try to push through to the next to the competition undefeated and win that trophy. So, yeah, JC, FC, watch yourself. <laughs> what about the chances of Mona High with Craig Butler and St. Catherine, who is defending Walker Cup, is Walker Cup, is the corporate area trophy Walker Cup? Saint Catherine is defending Walker Cup champion as well. All right. Yeah. Well, um, you know, like everybody else, you know, the the, the Cinderella, Cinderella story really, you know, Mona High. If once once they can push through and get it to the semi final, you know, you can expect great things. Is is it's almost like um, you you hear Craig Butler say something, and you're wondering if he's 
another story or it not, might not re- be what he's saying, but to see, see what, how they're performing coming through second, I don't know. They can be really, really a strong dark horse and almost possibly a similar story at the end of the day. So let's see how this goes. And, and to be honest, if that happens, it, it would be almost like Craig Butler is a genius. <laughs> Ricky, are you looking forward to this clash between Kingston College and JC? Um, and if we were to look at the records every year from 2016, or it could be earlier, one of these teams wins something, whether it is the Champions League, the Olivia Shield, or the Manning Cup. So there's always one of these two teams winning something. This should be a big matchup. Um, and of course, we're happy to see that the schoolboys are out there playing football again. But what's your thoughts on this potential well, Titan of a clash? This is a, 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 a clash that you, if we should see a match like this, you can't say that JC would be the favorite. All right, so this is a clash that you're looking for, basically for the finals. So if you are, if you cannot say say that, all right, so you can't really say whichever which which of these teams are favorites. You just have to wait and see which one of these teams will go out and play their football. Playing well, KC is playing well. A clash for for finals. I don't want to see them playing. I don't want to see them playing before the finals, but I want to see this yeah, finals, final matchup. Because the blue guys are always um, challenging each other for trophies, whether it be champs, football, or whatever it is, you know. And so, yeah, this is a very good matchup that I would love to see going to, to see in the finals. Raymond, I'm going to give you the final say. Talk to you. Talk to the KC fans. Yeah, you know what do it already. Photos scatter, scatter, none but this. Brave mate fall, never you. In this case, we're going taking it all the way to the finals. And if we, and if JCFC is going to be there, naturally, I we'll look for beat them. You know it go already. One college. <laughs> there you have it, sports DTM fans. Another episode of Sports Down the Middle. The conclusion of Group C, Manning Cup, and we're on to the next round, the quarterfinals. Teams have been chosen, and we know the cream them say rise to the top. So KC, Mona, and Saint Catherine making it out of Group C. Fans out there, uno must see uno Manning Cup champion by now. So more, uno just leave those comments in the comment section below. Which team? I don't think I go win. That's all I want to tell me. Which team or which school I don't go win? So leave those comments in the comment section below. Buy a sign up. Just type it. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell your friends, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them, friend them, to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.